I'm going to do look number one Ooh, with Jeffree Star blood last so I'm gonna go ahead and see the very first look that I'm on going to do so the video the be on the previous video of first impression unbox and swatches but I'm gonna go ahead and gonna do the first look and see what grabbed me the most let's see I have no plan um, blood queen oh oh shit blood queen and then tap them on I hope you can see this Hi King with another matte pinky purple. Hi King and run underneath here as well. It's really nice. on and finish off the other side and I come back so now this is the first look sorry focus yes first look so I use one two three four color all together and more purple tone and I hope you guys like it and the next look is coming so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this eye look see no makeup makeup and I got the contact lenses on as well just to bring out some of blue and purple with the colors so anyway I put quite a bit of primer underneath as well because I do blend the eyeshadow down so okay stop talking and go ahead and open this beautiful palette so what I started with of course because I look at this color here the red serpent here the only you call it green Deviant Deviant it's like a pastel uh, with all the light the pastel very light pastel um, purple There you go. And just tap it into it, get tacky. You don't want it to be too wet. And what I do is use my finger and I went to the color with you. Right here. Cool. So soft. Cup. Very cute. So I'm just gonna tap right in the middle of this and bring it up when I see my eyes. Go back again. And just use my finger and tap on the sworn enemy oops this too can blend it in work like so so you get the little bit of green on the green and a little bit of green over the purple you don't want to do it in a big area see how you get that really cool shift there cool 
gonna loop this and I'm gonna use this into the color take the crown, which is purple, much lit up the top here, just lightly. And then I'm going to go do like the brow bone highlight with it. Alright guys, so I went ahead and do my liner. So I got hooded eyes, so if I close my eyes, it's kind of weird on the front here. But I could open my eye like this, so let's get that wampy look where I almost gothic feel to it. So, and this is overall from far away. So I quite like it. Hi guys, now let's dive into look number three and into I... executioner. So I'm gonna turn upside down because of mirror. Executioner. I really really know that tap it off. And what I do is just kind of go and create that ring shape and just tap this in. I don't really blend it out too much. I just want to place in the color. Let me check. It's more my eyes. It's not exactly the same, but it's not dramatically different either. So then I'm gonna use. And go under and tap this in. A lot of people confused by that, but I do love red, so I'm not complaining about it. Also, a lot of people complain about Executioner that after they blend the mouse, no glitter left. I disagree. I don't hardly blend it. It has some purple um in there as well. It's black with purple and purple glitter. And I, I'm just going to tap this in. And then do a little bit on. Because I tried to mash this. Good. Then, why do I stick my finger? I'm going to bleed it hard because I think. It was a better application for the red. Wow, what a difference. You can see the difference. As much as it doesn't look very pigmented and dark color. So, I have to say, you see, when it's on the brush, right? But when you put in your eye, the color shows really well. Like, it's, it's darker in the eye than it is in the, in the pan. So, I'm going to tap first. Very pretty pink. Yeah, this color that I really like. I'm going to go into that and just tap. Go right where the red is. But I'm gonna blend it up a little bit like on the edge. To executioner and just go and dungeon color, like a really plummy dark purple. Just on the inner corner in there. And put the bleeding hair. Majesty, the white one, just running along the brow bone. Okay, now I put my um, I use gel liner for crying on the black one, Ebony, with the Ella Halberg liner brush here on number 300, which is the only one she has. The um, Bennett one, so you guys can see close up. Okay, look number five. So this what I come up with dungeon. It's look pretty black, but I put it in a corner here. I'm gonna tap them off. It's gonna the color betrayal I didn't use a lot of this color either it's gonna tap Oh, 
one gin into that corner. on top you see you're gonna see a lot of it so you know crazy man and this is a close up oh, oh. I never get it right oh focus oh I forgot I used the guilty mode from Linda Halberg I'm gonna do close up I let the lid open that's my fault there you go and that's better oh and then so that's a close up sorry With these, maybe I need a little bit of brush. Let's get to this. Oh my god, I lost count. I think six look, next look. Oh. Okay, now this is gonna be the sixth and the last look I decided because I have all the things I really want to try. And there you go, I thin tip flat brush like this, and I dip into dungeon because I haven't used that color a lot the dark dungeon one I'm gonna knock it off and I'm going to go kind of open my eye up and map out that shape so um, blood queen and knock some off let's just go along the line and Blend it upward a little bit so I tap Black Queen on the top. Get the purple, but then I just kind of a little bit blend it upward so I don't want it to be too dark as you can see at the finish. Give it mood. With the same brush, it's gonna go. I like to touch on top there. into your majesty which is the white purple with tinted purple I went onto my brow bone and then I kind of blend that out like so just to clean up that core give it violet from Pillow East and just put this color here core Executioner. Okay. Now it's gonna map out that wing. So it's gonna go. Blood Queen and just tap between the two. brush like this and get some more of this base 
to a little bit of shading. So I'm going to load the brush up and make it really sharp white. Right? I'm just going to go run along that line there. And then what I do... I can write the order right there. I'm just gonna go and draw the line here. And... Then same brush, I'm gonna go to this color, Royal Pen. Why not? sleep here so gonna brow bone and go on the top and blend it to beauty sleep again and I went in between that triangle there top it not with take the crown this is gonna make it more purple and bright on that corner like vivid mood and run a little bit of purple underneath there back here and I use like a little little brush at least I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right guys I put my lash on finish off my brush I so this is the closer look it's quite avant-garde and I put beauty sleep on my tip of my nose and a little bit on cupid bone. I don't want it to be too flashy, but it's very quite kind of 80, 90 mixed look. I kind of like it. I, I, I do like it. I like more creative look and crazy colors and I'm still learning. So I hope you guys like this look as well. I know it's a bit crazy, but I think I can pull it off. So that's the close up. So I hope you like. Okay. And wow. This gorgeous palette again. If you want to see swatch on my skin tone, check out the previous video. And um, this is just the makeup look that I do. I think that what I can I can do a lot more with this. I do love it. In conclusion, is is it for everyday look? If you like color, you can do one or two colors. Do the wash with eyeliner on. It's fine. But if you want to go crazy, all the color go well together. And the colors call. Um, Executioner, the, the black base with um, purple glitter that people seem to have a little bit of problem with it is I don't have any problem with it. I think you use glitter glue. I didn't use glitter glue. But you a good base and you don't blend it out too much. You still see that glitter effect still. So I did not personally. I don't have any problem with it. I think the more you blend it out, the more glitter you lose. Because when you tap the brush, the glitter just fly out everywhere but every single shade I my favorite shade is royal pen which is this pink color I know it's nothing crazy color you might think but it's really good very good matte all the color I like but I don't see myself use the monarchy very much but you can mix it up for more everyday look your majesty I think is good but I don't see myself use this a lot either all the purple blue tone along here past the one is actually more pigmented than what you see in the pan i would recommend it if you still can get your hand out i don't think it's so out yet but you can do really fun look with it it's not crazy super purple but you can amp it up and make it purple and it's not like a lot of people think it's not purple enough i think it's purple enough but it could be more purple on it i think he will come out with something else as well but i do love his formula all the colors work well and let me know which look number one two three four five or six that you like the most and comment down below and i will see you guys next time and if you come this far very long video of six look i try to eat it and make it not too long and i hope you guys love it as much as i do you have it hopefully this could be inspired some of your look you want to see something else from this palette please do comment down below i might do some more tutorial and in my instagram or on more of more wearable everyday look with this palette so make sure you go and 
follow me on my Instagram as well and don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can see more of me and go and check out the swatch as well because everybody have different skin color use different base and have different techniques so the way I do it, I'm not super pro but I have some makeup course but you know I use a lot of it's a bit annoying but anyway I hope you can enjoy all my video and like all this look and I hope to see you again next time you are new here and if you are here already many times thank you for all your support and I see you guys then bye